<laughs> Come with me to Dolphin Cove where we can have an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> We're off from Kingston to Dolphin Cove in Ocherius. And even though Google Maps said 1 hour and 17 minutes, it probably took 1 hour and 40 minutes to get there. Once we were there, I took a couple pictures and then i had to wait in a line for 30 minutes because we went on a saturday a lot of locals came out those who had reserved beforehand could have skipped the line or who came with a hotel could have gone ahead so these are the prices and this is what dolphin cove has to offer there is also a pool and a waterfalls and a jungle trail which is the first thing i went on because i had to wait until 1:30. To go ahead to swim with the dolphins or get in the water with the dolphins because i went on the dolphin and koto so come with me on the jungle trail where we will experience exotic animals from iguanas to birds to rabbits to parrots yeah so let's go as a local, I paid 4200 I had to show my government issued ID that gave me access to all the amenities. I am so happy because I've always wanted to come to Dolphin Cove. I love dolphins. They're so majestic. And I got so excited because there was an Avery and I always wanted to visit an Avery. So my glad bag did bus. Bus, 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 bus. But guess what? I think I was a bit afraid of the birds because I'm a scaredy cat. I'm getting off of my fear, guys. I'm slowly becoming an adventurer. <laughs> and the birds are just so cute. But anyways. After that wonderful experience we went to see the rabbits and they were calm in comparison to the birds they just sat there i think this is more of a petting area and it would be great for kids because there are several little encounters where they can pet them probably feed them and i just looked and videoed and went off to see the iguana and for this section i didn't touch them you could also see the parrots and they were majestic and absolutely beautiful I went on to the deck section. So after the jungle trail, there is a section there that is pirate themed. And I compared it to my time in Bahamas because I did go to a pirate museum there. So I thought this was really interesting. They had the whole setup. They even had a little coffee shop, which was cool. And the whole statues there where you could take a picture, which I did. I look so cute. And the one foot captain, Arr, the cannonball the one-handed pirate with the hook and right there you could watch persons who did the swim encounter in which you get to swim with the dolphin you get to basically ride them and this is only for persons who can swim if you cannot swim you do the meet encounter like me there were also sharks to swim with the sharks is a different cost at which you pay at entrance so you tell them what encounter you want to go on and you pay for it at the entrance and then you get access to the entire facility and amenities that they have to offer watching the shark swim i got some coffee strawberry coffee i think it was under a thousand jamaican dollars at star buccaneers coffee and i liked the interior you could have bought cakes and coffee then i went to the beach where there was this nice setup a swing that had the big dolphin cove logo and you could take pictures and just enjoy the entire view or sit on the beach if you wanted to i decided to go kayaking instead of sitting on the beach then i decided to enjoy the water for a bit before i got my life vest on and i was so excited even though i was very nervous it was my first time kayaking and it was just is even though it's shallow water i am very nervous in water or at this point i was after going to dolphin cove i decided to learn how to swim because i could not fully enjoy my experience there because of my anxiety 
Dolphin Cove is definitely great for families and children. And after kayaking, he pointed us to where we should go for the dolphin encounter. So at this point, everyone who got the same time as you meet here and you are given a live vest before you get in. At which point you get on out there on this step. And honestly, if I did my research, I would have known you actually go out in the water instead of stepping on right there where I'm circling. I originally thought you'd go on a step and pet the dolphins. My anxiety was through the roof because I didn't know we'd actually like get fully in the water with them. And I was so afraid I didn't even get any pictures touching the dolphin, I know. Hence why I said immediately I had to learn how to swim because I always wanted to go in dolphins and when I was close to them I was afraid and got out too early it's not just that i'm fearful of swimming it's just that i'm also i was just fearful maybe they would like take me away deep in the water i know i had on a life vest but when you have anxiety in water anyone who does you'll know that it might as well be a shark a great white <laughs> it might as well be a great white you're just nervous overall and then on the steps you had like little fishes snipping at your feet and everybody was like moving their foot so it was like my anxiety was like no 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 fishes eating my dead flesh was the last of it after getting out we went to the bar because i really liked the view and i thought it was a perfect place for taking some pictures and videos i liked the aesthetic it was very artistic the stools and the table were very colorful i loved the artwork and the view was just breathtaking. I need a Dolphin Cove redo because I missed out on lunch. Apparently lunch was included in the package. I did not go on the water slide. I mean, I got some beautiful pictures and I did enjoy myself. And I wish I had more courage with the dolphins. So I'm definitely going to go again and maybe this time in the Montego Bay one since I already been to this one, just to get a feel of the difference. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me where I should visit next.